What's the plan, Dom? Unbox this car. <laughs> Corrupto, vida dedicado al paso contaminado, encaminado a los campos minados. Seres que gobiernan y controlan nuestra tierra hipnotizado con su juego mental ilimitado. All right, so we have uh, a, a Jada, 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 Jada Toys, sounds right. Diecast, Fast and Furious, Brian's Nissan, Skyline, uh, 2000, GTR. So this is, um, this is an item that I got because not necessarily Fast and Furious, but because I really like the Skyline. I really, really, really enjoy the old, old Skylines. So this is gonna be a video because why not? I mean, why not? I bought it, enjoy it with me. So obviously this thing comes from a line of movies that have been too many for too many years and have gotten more and more ridiculous. I also love the Ford Escort. Brian's collection of cars were fantastic. The newer Skyline, but this one is just a personal favorite, not even because of the movie. Uh, the, 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 just like the car, okay? <laughs> so this is my first experience with this brand. The, uh, a lot of folks may know them because of all the cool, like, Back to the Future things they do, the Ninja Turtle stuff that they've been doing, but the larger 124th scale items uh, this is what they look like. So we're gonna kind of dig in and see what the quality is like for these things. It's like 15 bucks. So not bad, you know, when you're collecting a lot of other stuff like this guy, <laughs> $15 is nothing. Uh, a lot of dust in there for being a sealed package. And to get this out of the box, we actually have to unscrew it from the bottom here. So no problemo, let's just do that. We don't like to buy toys with dust on them already. We like to put them on the shelf and then let them collect dust for like six months to a year and then uh, get too embarrassed to take pictures of them <laughs> and have to dust it all off. All right, and of course it is a black vehicle so dust is gonna show up real easy. So, um, you know, good, good for me that I get to <laughs> deal with that forever so easily. But the, the details are actually pretty great for 15 bucks. And, you know, obviously not a model car that you have to build, but it's die cast. And, you know, this has just really got me thinking for the for, for those of you that like vehicles for your figures, your 112 figures. And we had that HasLab thing from Hasbro, the uh, engine of vengeance, which was obviously larger than this, but like 350 bucks and plastic. So how are these folks doing $15 cars? I know it's a little smaller. Obviously, it doesn't have fire coming out of it and stuff but I don't need a bunch of dash details, even though it seems to have some. I just want a good looking car. And if it's metal, then maybe that makes it worth the fifth, the, the, the money. That's definitely worth, look at that. Look at that detail. For 15 bucks, you get this, uh, I don't know what's in there. RB26 DET, I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of motor swap, of course, because you can't be a Fast and Furious boy without some swapping of toys. Uh, engines. <laughs> uh, so this is a 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000. So that's pretty cool that they actually clarify for any collectors that maybe are into Fast and Furious or something and didn't know the exact car. So license plate, it's, it's kind of lame because it's got these like default stickers on there, but I'm sure there are plenty of online creators that make 124 scale stickers and things. So if you wanted to replace some stuff, but you've even got a trunk and this is a little harder to show off on camera because of the all blackness, but I am really liking this car so far. This looks really nice. Uh, the details are certainly there where they need to be. Look, even, <laughs> how am I gonna get this on camera? But there are details even going on here in the door panels and stuff. This is great. This is good camera experience for all of you <laughs> watching this. Uh, how do I get in there without like a macro lens or something? But the seats, so we get some racing seats in there. There are a lot of details going on here in the dash and stuff. So let's, let's lower the aperture of this camera and see if we can't brighten the interior of this car a little bit. Uh, so try to get these details a little bit better than what we're getting uh, by default. I don't know. All right, so some making some adjustments on the camera, we can actually like way overexpose the brights, but since all of this is black, we need to really show off these details. So we got pedals. They're just pretty basic as far as the way they're applied in there. Look, you're even, you're even, you're even getting, I can't speak. 
you're getting gauges on the dashboard, which are really, really hard to see even with human eyes or a camera. <laughs> Some wood trim going around the, de uh, the stereo over there, right in the center console. But again, this is a little hard to keep focus with the camera, but you can see that on, uh, right through the hole of the steering wheel. So there's some like really nice details going on here. We got the we got the shifter has a little bit of paint and stuff. So there's, this is great. I mean, it's 15 bucks. What can you really expect for $15? I not this. This is way more than I would have thought. Obviously, if you're like a customizer, you could take this thing apart and paint it and add a lot more detail to it, but. As it is, this is spectacular. Excellent work. I mean, this, listen, for 15 bucks, you can't beat it. You could certainly try, but this thing is a beauty. You know, something sitting on the shelf at a 124, sitting on the shelf at a 124 scale. This is great. So I, I recommend it. There's no, you can't turn the wheels or anything, so you can't get any like cool uh, stances sitting in, in the, uh, on the shelf. That's about all I got to say. Now, who makes 124 uh, scale figures that I can put in here? But thank you so much for watching this quick little video here. I hope you enjoyed this. And if Jada Toys hasn't been on your list of things to go after, I think this might be enough to show you that they are definitely worth it. 15 bucks and then those little mini TMNT and uh, DeLoreans. Awesome. See you next time.